Hey, this is Chad Perkins from MoviesAndComputers.com. This is another video tutorial in our series on the third-party effects that shipped with After Effects. And what we're going to be making here, if we play this back, is this cute little UFO that uh, is apparently intoxicated <laughs> and also flatulent. And uh, what we're going to do is making these smoke trails here. There's going to be other tutorials that we're going to have that will show you how to make these stars and after effects. It's kind of like a moving star field. Kind of sweet. Uh, and also how to make this UFO in Cinema 4D. But for now in this movie, we're going to focus on these uh, smoke particles. Now for this, we're going to be using one of the particle effects that come with the Psychor set of plugins. So if you have After Effects CS3, CS4, CS5, then you're good. Now I'm going to go over here to this CC Particle Systems 2 intro uh, comp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, I just have a plain old black solid here, as you can tell by the name, plain old black solid. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a search for CC part, and then I get two effects here. Now, a lot of people use the effect menu. I see a lot of times in tutorial people use the effect menu for uh, applying effects. I honestly don't understand that at all, because then you have to remember which category the effects are in. If you go to the effects and presets panel here on your right, or if it's not showing, you can go to your window menu, then you just do a search for the effects. So it's just so much faster. Uh, so anyways, just a little aside there. Um, if we apply CC Particle World, this is a much more robust particle system because it works in 3D. If I click on this Z here and move it around, you can see that I can move this around, and these are 3D particles. It's a little bit big for what we need, so I'm just going to go ahead and select this in the Effect Controls panel, hit the Delete key to remove it, and I'm actually going to apply CC Particle Systems 2, which is what I want. So I apply that to my black solid, and as you can see, it's uh, an auto-animating effect just like uh, most particle systems are. Now, by default, it's really not much to look at. It's just kind of like these strings of lines here. But if we open up the producer area and we fiddle with position, let's go, I'll go back here a little bit. I'll click the stopwatch for position to animate it. And then I will move in time. And then I will move one of these properties a little bit to the point where I could see my effect control point here, that little uh, red circle with a plus in the middle. And what I'm going to do then is move it somewhere else and then move in time, and then move it yet somewhere else. And so now if I play it back, you can see how it kind of creates this interesting streak effect. So it, it's already a little, looking a little bit better than it did initially, but uh, there's still a lot of sexiness to go. So what I'm gonna do is go over to this uh, Psychor Particles start, and what I've done is I've uh, applied uh, the particles here, CC Particle Systems 2, to this particles layer. And I've already animated the producer point to follow along with the UFO. And I didn't do anything intelligent or smart <laughs> in any way to do that. Uh, I just basically just like moved it around. And it looks like it's about there. And then I moved in time and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't use like motion tracking or any of that kind of stuff. Now, the first thing we want to do in order to create our smoke is to get rid of this uh, nasty yellow color. So I'm going to open up the particle area. Uh, there's four nicely organized categories uh, in the effect here. And actually, longevity is just longevity, so really it's three. And I'm going to change the birth color from yellow. I'm going to just click on that color swatch here. And let's get more of a blue, kind of like we saw in the other composition. Go ahead and click OK. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's change the way that these particles are spitting out. If we go to physics here, the animation type is explosive, and that's not really what we're looking for. So I'm going to change this to direction normalized, which is going to give us a, a more streamlined output from, from the uh, smoke trail there. It looks a little bit more like a smoke trail. Right, right now, it kind of still looks like a fountain, I realize, but uh, it's going to get us closer than explosive would have. Now, back in the particle area, we want to change the particle type from line to shaded sphere. And uh, we're getting a lot closer now by having these balls. But one of the problems is that if we zoom in really closely here, you'll see that there is this kind of hard black edge to these shaded spheres, which makes them look uh, very independent. What we want to do is remove that and make this so it's a little bit brighter to look like smoke. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom of the particle area, and we're going to change the transfer mode from composite to add, or actually maybe a screen. You can change it to add if you like, but I, I think uh, screen looks a little bit more realistic, but add does look a little bit sexier, so it's pretty much your preference. So now you notice that the areas where the particles overlap are a little, is a little bit brighter, and we've uh, gotten rid of a lot of those uh, hard edges, and these look like softer particles, which is great. Now if we scrub this back, you can see that we already have kind of like 
Smoky stuff, I guess. Actually, it's not looking very smoky the way we have these settings. So let's fiddle with this a little bit more. Uh, I think I want to uh, increase the birth rate so we have more particles. Yeah. And there's too many particles still on screen here. So we want these to die out more. So I'm going to decrease the longevity. So I'm going <laughs> to feed these particles a steady diet of fast food. <laughs> so they have a very unhealthy lifestyle. And so their longevity is shrunk down. And we're getting closer there. Now, it's still fanning out a little bit too much. So I want to open up the uh, producer area and probably reduce radius X a little bit there, maybe down to 1. And also radius Y, maybe again down to 1. And that helps things a little bit because they're not as tall. And when it goes fast, we have more of a streamlined effect here. I'm still wondering if my longevity is a little bit too much. I might change that to like 0.2 or something. That's probably a little bit too short, maybe 0.35, and that's good enough for right now. now. We can also fiddle with gravity. If we want these particles to sink down a little bit, we could increase the gravity. If we want them to rise up a little bit more, we could increase the gravity, which creates a really interesting effect, like there's wind blowing pretty crazy. Uh, I'm going to take this back to, uh, let's do about two. Now, one other really interesting parameter that's going to help us out here, because it does still feel like there's kind of like a hemisphere uh, shape to our smoke particles, is this extra value. And extra basically just changes the randomness of the way the particles animate. But in this case, it's going to help uh, reduce that spherical nature. If I wanted to, I could bump this up and make like an actual like go all the way uh, sphere, like it's emitting just like this tube of, of uh, smoke here. But actually, I'm going to take this down... And, and maybe then go back to gravity and reduce this just a little bit, or excuse me, increase it so it's a little bit lower. And we have a nice little, cool little smoke trail. Maybe a little bit more here. We might want to go back to radius X and Y. And this is kind of how it is when I play with particles oftentimes. Like, you know, you don't like go in with one particular setting in mind and know exactly what you're looking for. Uh, at least I can't do that. Uh, I'll kind of go in and I'll fiddle and I'll go back to something like that and kind of fiddle with it a little bit more until I get it the way I like it. So we're looking uh, pretty good there. And if we just add some uh, cool sound effects, I'll change this to uh, a cool uh, car peel out sound effect. Uh, we have some great little smoke. <laughs> Now that concludes this tutorial. If you liked uh, this, these files and want to play with, around with this on your own, we have these files, the, the star and uh, the UFO, and also the final version of this for sale on our website for only two bucks. Uh, or if you just like this tutorial and you want us to make more, you could donate a buck on our website, just one dollar. I'm sure your mother would love you for doing that. Uh, so you could also subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like us on Facebook, visit moviesandcomputers.com to talk with us on the forums and catch all the magic going on over there. And uh, thank you for watching. You're a really good person for doing that. Until next time, my friends. Hey!